Come yeah! I'm waiting Welcome everybody to Iowa Speedway for race number 22 of 40 here in the Mountain Dew Bowlers Cup Series. After today, we have six races left. And after today, we're also going to begin the two weeks in a row of Indy. First, the Lucas Oil Raceway, the short track version of the track. But no four turns, it's two turns connected. And then Indy itself. So, going to be having a little fun there. Before that, we're here at Iowa. Uh, Ryan Shea got the pole. Derek Fletcher qualified second. Stephanie Manos third. And Austin Owls has qualified in fourth. Who will win today? And will we see another driver get his second or third? Or maybe Peyton Goodwin gets his fourth one here today. Getting ready to go green. Here we go, boys, at Iowa. Ryan Shea is going to bring him to the green flag. Ryan Shea's last win was the All-Star race. He has not technically won a race yet this season. And oh, man, Stephanie Vanoss, Scott Green. Scott Greeny touching with the 30. They are three wide for the race lead. On lap one, Ryan Shea just got in the wall, and he's going to fall back. Scott Greeny now battling with Stephanie Vanoss. Scott Greeny last one back at Bristol. That is 18 races ago. He is looking for his third win of the season. He hopes to be the third to do it after Austin Owls and Peyton Goodwin. But Ryan Shea isn't giving up that easily. He is looking for the lead. I have a feeling this is going to be a very good race. Scott Greeny still in the lead now as Ryan Shea gets by for second. Peyton Goodwin. Hey, we were just talking about him. He might get his fourth win. And he might tie Michael Amato's record. Michael Amato had four wins in 28 races last season en route to his Season 1 championship. And if Peyton Goodwin did it in 22 races, well, he still ha would have another 18 to maybe get a fifth and break the record. But we'll find out if anything goes right now this early in the race. As Scott Greeny will continue the lead for the time being. Here on lap 14 of 60, side-by-side -side battle for the lead between the 15 and the 48. Peyton Goodwin is in third. John Lennon is fourth. Michael Jenkins fifth. 71 out sixth. Austin out seventh. Karen Vieira, 8th, Nico Trigali, 9th, and a battle for 10th between Michael Amato and Derek Fletcher. Since we were talking about Michael Amato, he hasn't exactly had a good season this year. He has not won a race, and he finds himself way at the bottom, below 36 in points, I might add. So Michael Amato trying to turn things around. He will probably not make the chase this year, but he is trying to turn things around here indeed. As Ryan Shea leads him. This is around where we had pit stops in the Code Red race lap. Oh, no, wait, we're not even close to pit stops. Oh, okay, we'll see you soon, guys. Okay, this is around where pit stops were. John Linares is up to third. As Peyton Goodwin has started falling off. Scott Carini is going to allow up the 90s going in the pit, and so is the 15. So Ryan Shea and John Linares will be the first to come in. Scott Carini will stay out, though, for the time being. So Scott Greeny leads it as he stayed out. Is he coming in now? Yes. Karen Vieira is going to stay out here. Michael Amato, Kate Arala, and Cindy Vieira. Michael Amato may be trying to gain some positions here. Fastest car of the day has been John Lanier. It's a 21.320. And he was gaining ground. As the final few cars will bring it down the pit road. Ryan Shea leads off his group with John Linares closely behind and then Peyton Goodwin. Here's Scott Greeny's group here. So 
Scott Greeny will lead his group off. Where will he range with Ryan Shea? I think Ryan Shea's got the lead still. Yeah, and John Linares is going to be in second. Well, we knew these guys were close to the lead, so we're going to leave it here because 45 is nowhere near. Yep, see, I was right. See, the 45 is already back there, so no lead for the 45. But Ryan Shea continuing the lead looking for his first win. There will be still one more pit stop, so stay tuned for that. Go battle for the lead on lap 28. John Linares has got it under Ryan Shea, and John Linares will pass Ryan Shea for the race lead. Ryan, Shea, I mean John Linares, last one back at New Hampshire in a race that he very much well dominated. He's looking for win number two here to try to maybe help his hopes get into the chase. But here comes Scott Greeny trying to get by. Ryan Shea and Scott Green will make the pass. Let's do a quick th run through through the field. Peyton Goodwin remains in fourth. Michael Jenkins fifth. Stephanie Manaus sixth. Austin Al seventh. Nico Tringali is eighth. Gene Evans ninth. And Benjamin Mimoso is tenth. Battle for eleventh between Sheila Sullivan. I'll forget it's not a battle anymore. Karen Vieira is just going to take eleventh. But John Linares continues to lead the race here at the halfway mark. Excuse me. On lap 32, Scott Greeny getting below the 90 car here. He is looking for the lead over John Linares. Scott Greeny looking for his third win of the season. And his first since Bristol. Would be his second. Actually, it would be his third on a short track because he won at Rockingham and he won at Bristol. So this would be his third win on a short track. You could call him the short track master. But anyway, Scott Green will complete the pass on John Linares. Getting around pit stop areas again. Ryan Shea has kind of fallen back a bit. Anyway, we're getting close to pit stops. Here comes John Linares. John Linares is going to make it in. And this race has surprisingly gone caution free. It's been a very entertaining race so far. Good lead changes. But no cautions, which is all which is good. Nice quick race. Scott Green will most likely be coming down pit road this time by. Yep, here he comes. Karen Vieira is in second for the moment, so Karen Vieira will take the race lead for the time being. Karen Vieira will take the race lead here with 15 to go coming up. Mr. 45 will duck down low to pit road. As Philip Shingali will now stay out. I don't think he'll be close. Where is the... There goes John Linares. Philip Jingali in the lead. He will make his move down the pit road. There's Scott Greeny. He is ahead of John Linares. And did he do a, get a good pit stop or what? Nowhere close to the 45. Scott Greeny will continue to lead the race. Nobody out of the race, just a lot of cars a lap down. Complete the cycle here and Philip Tringali gets passed. Which he has been. And now John Linares has a problem because he has James Francis and Allison Rogers in his way between him and the race leader. Here we go, two to go. Ryan Shea gets around the 22 and he is to the leader. John Linares is third. Stephanie Manos fourth. Peyton Gooden fifth. Benjamin Mimoso sixth. Michael Chickens seventh. Karen Vieira eighth. Gene Evans ninth. And Philip Chingali is tenth. But here we go, guys. Coming to White Flags. Scott Greeny looking for his third win of the season. And I think the 22 car 
is holding up the 15, and that is what Scott Greeny likes to see. So Scott Greeny will continue to be known as now the short track master. He is going to take it to victory lane here at Iowa. Scott Greeny wins his third race of the season here today at Iowa Speedway. So, Scott Greeny wins today here. His Lowe's Plains car. Ryan Chase second. John Linares third. Stephanie Minos fourth. Peyton Goodwin fifth. Benjamin Moso sixth. Michael Jenkins seventh. Gene Evans eighth. Karen Vera ninth. And Philip Tringali is tenth. Then Austin Owls, Michael Amato, Sheila Sullivan, Derek Fletcher, Nico Tringali, Michael Santos, Kate Rogers, Michael Beeson, Nathan Rogers, Cindy Vieira twentieth. Peter Sands, Michael Parker, Michael Kidney, Frank Linares, Amy Medeiros, 25th, Samuel York, Brenda Harala, Daniel Carnero, Adam Rogers, and Jim Morton, 30th. Then Kate Harala, Paul Sardinia, Carol Fletcher, Peggy Bowling, Michael Naylor, Steve Cavallo, Logan Scott, Zachary Rogers, Allison Rogers, Tony, Tony Vieira, 40th. Cars left down, James Francis, and Benjamin Dion gets 42nd. So we're going to see you for some boring races at Lucas Oil Raceway. They were not the best races. And then we'll see you at Indy for the great races there. Just such a great track. Those were some good races. So we'll see, see you there. And after Indy, the truck series will be taking a big break before the chase LCQ. So until then, see you for two more truck races. Three more Code Red races and six more co Voltage races. Um, the Code Red's final race before the chase will likely be run when this series runs its last race before the chase. So there'll be a three race break for the Code Red series and a four race break for the Live Wire. So we'll see you guys for Lucas Oil Raceway. But those will be three series race. Then and at Indy. So until then, see you guys then. Bye bye bye.